When I was a kid, fishing was my entire summer. And because I'm kind of small, especially at that time, I kind of had to like take my entire arms and hug the salmon and like flop back into the boat with the salmon. Our ancestors in the tribe specifically managed the salmon with several generations in mind. These great-great-grandparents I never met, they were taking care of the salmon so I would have a good life and something to eat. And yet that was all washed away and killed within a single day because of poor legislation when it came to irrigation during a drought year. The dams on the Klamath River create hot stagnant water because it's just holding the water there and it's not flowing. And so when it is released, it releases hot water down this area with blue-green algae that grows in that hot stagnant water with all the nutrients from the farming. That creates these blue-green toxic algae blooms that have shown to be carcinogenic. Before the dam, there was the mining that happened in this area. A lot of the excess rock and material from the mountains came into the rivers and filled in the stream beds. And so made it so streams that were running all year long are now only running seasonally. Currently, I'm working as a restoration engineer one for the Yurok tribe, reforming the streams and working to prepare that salmon have good spawning grounds by doing restoration work, by adding logs back into the streams, by adding large rocks and turbulence so they have a place that will help their young survive. I'll be one of the very few who have a PhD in my tribe. I wish it wasn't such a rarity and that's one of the other goals I work towards is trying to make sure there's more equity in these research spaces. It's also important for me to have that bigger understanding of what role we're playing in the world and how much Indigenous representation is there worldwide. That led to me trying to get into the United Nations COP or Climate Change Conference. I'm not against all dams because dams do have a use, but also with a lot of these renewable projects, such as hydropower, a lot of them are being placed in areas of Indigenous peoples without considering the costs. Today, we are making possible the most significant dam removal and river restoration project in our nation's history. These dams are coming down, and it's about dam time. It was really exciting to be at this global climate change conference and have this piece of work finally come through. And we definitely celebrated when that happened. When the struggle started with the dam removal and restoring our salmon populations, it seemed like an impossible task to many. Even if I do work that may seem impossible in the moment, but there's even a chance for these solutions around climate change and tribal sovereignty, indigenous sovereignty, and water rights, then I'm gonna keep working for it.